come to a part of my challenging menstrual period. A part of my life that I can say I have very little control over it. Every month, during a specific cycle, a severe flood of negative thoughts overwhelms me. I think about the tasks I've procrastinated on, my goals. Sometimes terrifying and destructive thoughts come to my mind. become very sensitive to the smells, tastes, and feelings like loneliness, sadness, stress, and boredom intensify. And sometimes I feel like crying for no reason at all. Most of the time, these emotional pains accompany physical pains to drive me crazy in the best possible way. I can say that I am in the highest level of confusion and instability in this period of my life. But the good news is that each of us, with greater awareness of our mind and body, finds our own tailored solution. younger and I knew less about myself. I found this period much harder to endure. Days when I was really hard on myself, I was trying to find answers to all my troubled emotions and thoughts. I thought I have to finish the unfinished tasks. I was trying to control the eruption of my emotions and I was sure I was doing the right thing. But today, with my current experiences, I say I was at war with myself on those days. I've moved forward with time and gotten to know myself better. And today I accept all troubled thoughts and chaotic emotions of my menstrual cycle. I try to give myself and thoughts some rest and allow my emotions to find their way. I dedicate these few days to my favorite activities and hobbies. Without a schedule, very slow and calmly. movies, I read my favorite books, if I'm in the right physical condition, I cook delicious food, 
I do stretching exercises, I engage in my work, which is actually one of my hobbies. And most importantly, I meditate. So, it's very important to know ourselves and our bodies and to find the ways that work best for us because in the end, each of us knows ourselves better than anyone else.